Hello, welcome to episode nine of Stay at Home Steam with Mrs. Nicholson. Today we are going to be making a water cycle model that you can kind of watch over the next month or so to kind of see how the, the water cycle works. Um, when we talk about the water cycle, we usually talk about it in second grade and fifth grade. We talk about the steps of the water cycle and we've got three main parts that we talk about. We talk about evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. So evaporation is when the sun heats water, the water evaporates, turns into a water vapor, starts to rise up into the sky. The higher it gets, it starts to condense. It gets colder and condenses into clouds. The water droplets join together to make clouds. When the water droplets form the clouds, the clouds gets too heavy with um, the water droplets the precipitation will fall from the cloud. And remember, precipitation can fall in four different forms. It can be snow, sleet, hail, and rain. And when we're going through this today, just keep those steps in mind because this is going to model that as we go through it, all right? So you're gonna need two cups. Um, I use the clear plastic cups. Um, I went ahead and went outside and just got some rocks to put in the bottom. I usually do that just because it, because it makes it a little steadier. So if you're going to set it in a windowsill, that it won't tip over as easily. All right, we're going to first, um, after we put some rocks in the bottom, we're going to go ahead and add some soil to it. So we're going to go ahead and pour some soil in. And we want to have the soil about three-fourths of the way of the cup. All right. So once it's about three fourths of the way up, what the next part we want to do is we're going to put in a some type of bottle cap, something that can act as our model for a body of water. So this will be our lake or pond or river, whatever you want to have um, as part of your model. So you're going to put that into your soil. You want to press the soil down around it kind of, so it kind of holds it in place. All right. Okay, so we, I usually put it on the edge so that when you uh, are putting your seeds in that it kind of stays out of the way of that and you can kind of keep an eye on it. So you're gonna go ahead and put that on the edge, all right? You are then next going to put in some seeds. So with our seeds, um, like I said, I like to use grass seeds because you can sprinkle them on the top and they don't need to be buried. You can also use radish seeds, which do need to be under the soil a little bit, but they grow pretty quickly as well. So once you have your seeds, you're going to sprinkle them on the top if you have grass seeds. If you have anything else, you're gonna bury them a little bit under the soil. Once you have put your seeds in, you're gonna take your some water. You're gonna fill first your little bottle cap. You want to make sure that that is filled to the top. Um, if it goes over a little bit, that's okay. Then you're going to just put a little bit of water on the rest of yours that is going to um, just kind of moisten the soil for your seeds once you first put them in there. Once you've done that, you, this after that part you need to be very careful because you do not want to spill the, the water that's in your bottle cap. So you're going to take your second cup and that's going to become the lid on this. And once you do that, you're going to tape it on carefully. And I like to use a thicker type of masking tape that's going to keep it nice and, and tight of a seal. So we're going to, and again, you need to be careful you're not bumping this because if you spill the water inside, you're going to have to start over with the taping part and refill it. So we're going to tape around the outer part of the lid, or excuse me, of the cups. You're gonna tape it together. All right, and then once you have it like that, you need to make sure that you are putting it in some type of area that's going to get sunlight because the water cycle can't happen without the energy from the sun. Once you get it the way that you want it, you're gonna set it in a windowsill, you can set it outside, but somewhere where it's gonna have access to the sun. The model, represents the different parts. So once you get it out there, you'll see that once the sun starts to warm the water that's in your bottle cap, the water will begin to evaporate. The water will evaporate, which then makes water vapor that goes up towards the sky, which is gonna be the top of your model. Once it gets to the top, it starts to condense. So you'll actually see some condensation um, develop on the top of your water cycle model. 
then if that condensation gets to be too much, you'll see the precipitation where the water will start running down the sides. Now, obviously you're not gonna see a big old rainstorm in here, which is, um, I think some of my kids thought it was gonna be a little bit more dramatic as far as the precipitation part, but you will see that the condensation will form and then the precipitation going down the sides. But what's really cool is after your, your plant starts to grow, your seeds start to grow, you'll see that that water within your water, um, your bottle cap will not go down. Remember, this is a cycle. So this is a way that water is cycling through our atmosphere, okay? So that water is going to remain there. I don't have to replenish it. It is staying closed. So you'll notice as that starts to grow, you'll see your plants grow, you'll see the water cycle happening, and you will not have to um, pour any more water in there, which is kind of cool. And you'll see after, you know, I've had them for a couple months, and you'll see that it is still t continuing to grow. As your plants grow, they'll start going, moving up even as tall as the cup. It's kind of a cool thing to see. But this is a great way to see the water cycle in action. So if you get a chance to do this, I want you to think through, again, which part of the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, or precipitation, each of this is representing, and how that um, would be seen in our real life outside when you are um, going through this, all right? So I hope you enjoy doing this, and I will see you on our next episode. Have a great day.